Lismore's aviation community is starting from scratch nearly a month after planes were washed away in record-breaking floods. As the community looks to rebuild, a younger generation of pilots is leading the way for the future. The Northern Rivers Aero Club has been a training ground for up to 600 commercial, defence and recreational pilots since the 1960s. Based in Lismore, the club has withstood many floods but now faces total devastation. I don't know if it'll fly again. Leading the clean-up has been former New South Wales Young Australian of the Year Nathan Parker, who learnt to fly at the club from the age of 15. So I wanted to be a fighter pilot in the Air Force. Ever since I was six years old, that was the, the goal. He was on the verge of achieving that goal when he lost his arm in a 2015 military bus crash. Now he's back at the club as a senior flying instructor. And they've been very lucky now to progress into sharing that passion with other people and, and assisting here as one of the staff at the Aero Club to, to help other people chase those dreams. When the Air Force let Nathan go, they lost one of the people who could have been one of our great future leaders. And Nathan's been great as mentor, not only as a flight instructor, but he's also a really inspirational person. I did my first flight with Nathan um, on my 15th birthday, and that kind of ignited a real passion. As Lismore was told to brace for flooding in late February, Nathan and the rest of the city's aviation community prepared the same way they always do. Now you can't fly these little aeroplanes in that sort of weather safely, you're not allowed to, even in an emergency. So all the aircraft were moved onto the mound. For countless floods prior to this one, we'd had aircraft up there and, and not been impacted by, by water. Despite the best efforts of the club to move dozens of planes to higher ground, they didn't stand a chance against water levels that broke all records, some ending up more than three kilometres away. Aeroplanes got picked up even though they were pegged down and there was a huge surge of water came through here. It just picked them up and took them for some distance. Coming back and seeing only two left there was, was something that we never expected to happen. It was basically a war zone. The, the security fence around the airport had been pretty much flattened, covered in grass and debris. It's a spanner in the works for 18-year-old aspiring commercial pilot Brody, who had been preparing to undergo his private licence test. It's certainly um, a disappointing sight uh, to see all the planes in this way, especially um, the amount of effort that it's going to take to get them all back. And it's not only aircraft destroyed, years of pilot training logs have been lost, while unique memorabilia may never be recovered. Some of it wasn't even on the walls, it was just laying in the mud. We had one of a kind paintings of Charles Kingsford Smith's Southern Cross aircraft, all the way through to Victoria Cross recipients and, and replicas of Victoria Crosses and, and things like that. You haven't lost the memories, but you've lost the memorabilia. But CEO Bill Kiernan believes with the club in the hands of young people like Nathan, the sky is the limit. We've, we've reached the pinnacle of our careers. You see young people, they're faced with a challenge, they get off their backsides and do it. Don't stand around whinging and moaning like so many older Australians are prone to do. There's some pretty strong uh, people here that will get through these times um, and help rebuild. And while the club faces a challenge starting again from scratch, Nathan sees it as an opportunity. In some respects it, it may give us a, a clean slate, a new platform to, to build from and try and make this place even better than it was before. Claire Todd-Hunter, Sky News, Lismore.